Hello learners, NIOS welcomes you to painting subject video series. This is lesson number 15, part 3. Now we will discuss the question answers and after that summarize the lesson. The first set of questions, name the artist of the painting Radhika. Question number 2, what kind of medium and technique are used in this painting? Question number 3, what kind of dress is Radhika wearing in this painting? Question number 4, name the object she is holding in her hands. Question number 5, name the colors used in the background of this painting. Answers, first, the artist of this painting is M. A. R. Chugdai. Answer number 2, the medium and the technique is wash and tempera on paper. Answer number 3, the dress worn by Radhika is called Ghagra, that is the violet dress on the lower torso, then the Choli on the upper torso and then the yellow Dupatta, that is the dress she is wearing. Answer number 4. She is holding two lotuses in each of her hands. Answer number 5. The colors in the background are red, black and yellow. Questions related to the second painting. Write the name of the artist of this painting, that is the crucifixion, who is the artist. Question number 2. Jamini Roy was inspired by two sources of art. What are the two sources of his inspiration? Question number three. Name the medium used in this painting. Question number four. Name the colors used by the artist in this painting. Question number five. What is the subject matter of this painting? Question number 6. What kind of mood does this painting reflect? Answers. The first, the artist of the painting Crucifixion is Jamini Roy. Answer number 2. Jamini Roy was inspired by two sources of inspiration. First was the Pata Chitra and the second were the terracotta toys and these were the two sources of inspiration of Jamini Roy, the folk art. And these two places were in Bengal. Answer number three, this painting is made by the tempera technique on handmade cardboard. Answer number four, the colors used in this painting are mostly earth colors, which is red, yellow, ochre, green, gray, vermilion, blue, white, yellow and black. The black which we get from the lamp suit, these were the colors used by the artist. Answer number 5. The subject of this painting is the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. 
and Jesus Christ is the central figure emphasized upon in this painting. Answer number six, the mood of the entire painting is grief. very sorrowful questions to the third painting who is the creator of this painting question number two what kind of composition do we see in this painting question number three what are the colors used in this painting Question number four, the artist Gagendranath was the first painter to experiment with what? Question number five, name the medium used in the painting. Question number six, what kind of mood does the painting reflect? Answers. Answer number one, the magician is painted by Gagendranath Tagore. Answer number two, this composition is called a cubist composition where geometric shapes and artwork looks like they are made out of cubes. Answer number three, the colors used are the shades of brown, off white and red. Answer number four, Gagendranath was one of the first painters to start experimenting with the popular contemporary European art styles and trends. For example, the cubist art style, which was very popular in Europe, was experimented by Gagendranath. Answer number five. The medium of this painting is tempera on paper. Answer number six, the entire mood of the painting is mysterious and magical. Now we'll summarize the lesson with some important points. Tempera paintings were found on the early Egyptian sarcophagi. During the ancient and medieval period, the similar technique was used in India as well. The famous Ajanta cave paintings, and other areas also in Madhya Pradesh had similar tempera techniques used. The egg tempera was the primary method until the oil painting invented during the 1500 AD. The egg tempera was the primary method of painting until oil painting during the 1500 AD or somewhat approximately that time. Oil painting was invented and the tempera technique started declining while the oil painting technique was totally popularized. The Bengal school artists tried to revive the tempera technique during the 19th century. The European art gave emphasis to 
watercolor due to the transparency and the luminosity which watercolors gave and that is why it became very famous in Europe. Watercolor techniques basically are of two kinds. First is the wash and the second is the glaze. Wash technique is the use of diluted colors to get the semi-transparent look while the glaze is a repeated use of paint over a previous lint of a previous layer of paint which gives a texture and a shine a kind of 3D. Terminal exercise of watercolor and tempera painting. These are the selected questions which the learners have to attempt by their own. Question number one, what do you understand by the term tempera? Question number two, describe the origin of the tempera painting. Question number three, write in detail about the process of the egg tempera. Question number four, what is the wash technique? Explain in detail. Question number five, explain the glaze technique in watercolor. Question number six, why is watercolor a transparent color? Why does it have the transparency? Explain. Question number seven, write in detail about the famous painting of M. A. R. Chuktai called Radhika. Question number eight, write a note on Jamini Roy's painting Crucifixion. Question number nine, why is Gaganendrana Tagore different from the Bengal school artists? Question number 10, describe the painting Magician. I hope you enjoyed watching part 3 of the lesson. If you have any queries, please email us at signlanguage at the rate nios.ac.in. For more information, you may visit our website www.nios.ac.in. Thank you.